more mud schools. This is the objective and government is on course to build state-of-the-art schools to replace inferior structures. Dorrington Matsipe represent a milestone as it is the 100th school to be built since 2011 when the government introduced this initiative. The school was built with a prefab material and the prefab material had uh, uh, asbestos which is quite contaminating, which is not good for, for, for the health of the learners, even for human beings. So the department felt that it would be better and imperative for them to build a, a, a school which had built out of mortar and the school didn't have enough uh, uh, learning and teaching facilities. The old school was demolished to make way for the new one, built with sporting fields to assist the learners after school to practice various sporting activities. The previous school had only one multi-purpose one multi uh, 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 room. So currently the school has got a hall, the school has got a science lab, a maths lab, a kitchen for feeding the learners, and 28 classrooms, and a tuck shop where kids do not go to the street to go and buy. They buy within the school premises. So the school is quite in a very good condition. The school has more than 1,100 learners in grade R to grade 8 and a staff complement of 28 teachers. It is named after the father of former communication minister Ivy Matsepe Kasaburi. Dorrington Matsepe is the father to the late Ivy Matsepe Kasaburi's father. Uh, in the 70s and in the 80s, he was the chairman of uh, the school boards and he was also involved in education, so the department felt. Uh, that it should name the school after that very important person. That is why the school is called Dorrington Matsipe uh, School today. The school is situated in Khelegvat's section of Kronstadt. It is one of the government's no-fee schools. The majority of the learners come from poor families. Some are orphaned, others have parents who are unemployed. Ishmael Mudiba for Morning Life, Kronstadt.